About set for baseball now on the show as we welcome you to Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Tonight it's the first of four between the Minnesota Twins and the New York Yankees. Ken Rowell makes his big league debut right after this. Sonny Gray will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan, any thoughts? You know, Matt, it's awfully tough getting a lot of no decisions as a starting pitcher, but he was able to pick up his first win of the year in his last start. Hopefully, his mojo starts turning around. Here's Byron Buxton now, and we are set for baseball here yeah, this evening. Minnesota. Center fielder number 25, Byron Buxton. First pitch of the at bat on its way. First of four here on this Monday night as the first pitch of the game is over for strike one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Maddie, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit one and two a little chilly but not unbearable tonight 55 degrees here at first pitch here he comes on a ball and two strikes chopped weakly to the left he's got a hurry throw to first is in time for the first down and now here's a look at the Minnesota Twins starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matty, Joe Maurer is still a guy you have to be careful with. This guy hit over 300 last year, and man, it was impressive. Just hitting over 300 is really something special to look at. He's a consistent hitter. I love watching his approach. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He'll be there again this year if he continues to stay within himself. So here's Joe Maurer, career numbers against Sonny Gray. He's just two for nine. First pitch coming, here it is. Missed with a breaking ball. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. Gray, 28 years old. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Yeah, Maddie. there's three dates. The time you get called up and the time you get to arbitration and one when you finally hit free agency where you have a chance to truly enjoy this game and get paid for all the hard work. And this is the start of it. The arbitration process allows these guys to finally, finally start making some real dollars in this game. Weekly hit towards first. Bird fields it cleanly, and he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Batting third, the left fielder number 20, Eddie. The next twin up, Eddie Rosario. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. One and one. High in the air into shallow left center. Number twenty five is calling for it and the inning is over so not much happening here in the top half of the first and now the Yankees will see what they can do no score 
Jose Barrios gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, thanks coming on Jose Barrios, and this guy has all the tools to be a great one. Great velocity with life. 94 to 97 miles an hour. Power slider, and it's a big sweeper. His changeup is getting better. If this guy Ready brings up, all Yankee. three pitches one of these days, he has the potential Ken to throw a no-hitter. Now in the box, Ken Rowell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, dropping their last game. Now they find themselves at 500 again. They got to find a way to get on a hot streak. You cannot continue to go peaks and valleys throughout the course of the season and ride that 500 line all year. At some point, you're going to have to take 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 to get this going in the right direction. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Rowell has been a great story in the baseball world lately. This game has taken some major strides since his early days in the minor leagues, and he's had to prove himself time and time again to get to this point. The three and one pitch. Into center field, line drive base hit. And just one batter in, the Twins will have to handle a threat on the base pass. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Ken Rowell has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him, and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play it cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. Here's big Aaron Judge. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. He's one for two. Rowell aboard here at first with nobody out. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. I think coming into this series, they knew he was one of the guys that were going to have to keep quiet. But he's setting the tone right here in the first with the steal of second. He could end up being a big factor. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. Well, I think that's a great spot for that pitch in on the hands. It wasn't a strike, but if he can command the movement in there, he's going to be very effective in this one. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. A runner at second, nobody out. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, man, we all know it. the man to watch, Giancarlo Stanton. He's in that rarefied air. Over 50 home runs last year. That's just crazy power. He can take the ball the other way. He can pull home runs. The ballparks can't contain him. When you're hitting 50 dingers, you're doing something very special. Here's Didi Gregorius, hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A 
high fastball is in there. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. 0-1 oh, pitch on its way. Up around the face, Gregorius. Also known as Sir Didi around the game and in the Netherlands. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Hey, I think if you ask this guy honestly how his season's gone so far, he'd tell you he's not happy with it. It's been kind of an average year for him, but he has time to get hot and make that salary push. In time to first, and there are two away. That in fourth. Team Carlos Stanton now. He was among the many who failed to report a base hit in the loss yesterday. First pitch of the at bat. A ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Hey, you could tell his eyes lit up on that ball right there. It was a little up, but it was out over the plate. Tough pitch to pull, and this guy's known for going deep pull side. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Two outs here with a runner at third. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. The 3-1. Swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Rosario. And that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. Still no score. Here's Miguel Sano, career numbers against Sonny Gray. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. First pitch coming, here it is. And a neck high fastball that time. The 1-0 is swung on and missed. Strike one. one, ball, one strike. Way in front of that fastball. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. Here's the one and two delivery. To two balls and two strikes now. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the change up to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested to see where he goes now. The two two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. The Reyes has it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. And, guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. 
digging in the switch hitter Eduardo Escobar and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First delivery to him on the way. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton has a read on it Two gone. Batting second. Second baseman. Here's Brian Dozier now. He was the main contributor offensively for his team yesterday, driving in both of their runs. Here comes the first pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. No score here as we play inning number two. A strike to even the count one and one right. fastball and he swings through it to fall behind you know when you're facing a top of the line pitcher like this he's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not the key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes but so far he hasn't made many. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Down go the Twins in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gary Sanchez. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. He's 0 for 5. Outfield shaded a bit to left center. The first pitch. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. One and two pitch. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. <laughs> Not sure what he saw in that pitch, but it sure looked tempting. And at least he held up. He must have been guessing. The 2 2. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Here's Neil Walker. The early season batting line well above 300 coming into this one. So he'll look to keep that kind of success going. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. And that's the first down. Okay, here's how the Twins are lining up defensively. And let's focus our attention on second baseman Brian Dozier. We know what he can do from the offensive standpoint. Light tower power. But he doesn't get enough credit for his defense. His ability to manipulate the bag and do all this while his hair never moves. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. No career at bats for him against this particular arm in the past. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Yeah, Matty, not only is this guy using all four quadrants, he's elevating, getting their eye level up with a quality fastball. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. There is Dozier. 
throw on to first two gone. Batting eight. Second baseman. Ronald, Ronald Torre is the Ronald. next to bat. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. Just a couple of matchups. No hits in two at bats. First pitch of the at bat. There's a strike. Sanchez on third with two out. To short. To his left, Escobar. Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. The Yanks leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. He's the number seven hitter but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. First pitch on its way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Grounded back up the middle, taken in by Gregorius. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. Now at the play, Jason Castro. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that one just missed outside. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. the bag at second base and he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him batting ninth, designated hitter, number 46. now it would be the Minnesota DH number 46 it was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss he's ready here's the first offering a cold strike on the inside corner Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys' swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. In now, Byron Buxton. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. The 1 0. Chopped foul right by home plate, and it's a ball and a strike. Third inning, no score to this point. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Not trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. Going to be a tough play. And he'll just step on first here to take the shoe around. How about it? 
Riding in once again, Joe Maurer. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. From the stretch, a breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Runners at second and third with two gone. Now a check swing here. Did he go around? No, says third base umpire Ricky Holiday. Ball one. The one-two home to Mauer. And he fouls this one off. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. And that's in there. Base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and a second run's going to score. Hey, this one's a long way from being over, Hero, but that big base hit right there gives him a two-run lead. Yeah, Dan, without question right there. Huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. Into the box, Eddie Rosario. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the 0-1. And that one stayed too low, apparently. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Seared down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Twins are in front, two to nothing. Next for New York, number 25. Yeah, Average in the Yankee. early season, not pretty Third, for him, hovering in the 220s. 25. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. A solo shot here to left. Second home run early in the year, and the Yankees are on the board. It's now a 2-1 ball game. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Into the box now, Ken Rowell, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Count even now at one and one. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. He chased a bad ball up out of the zone, two and two. Obviously not where he wanted that curveball to end up, but I guess it fooled him enough to get the swing and miss. This one's down to third. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Ready for another chance? Aaron Judge. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First delivery to him on the way. Now he starts to chase a pitch outside and he can't pull the bat back in time. It's strike one.
swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Way outside. One and two. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0-2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing the bat at that pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Left side of the infield, into the shift. And there are two away now. Up next for the Yankees, the shortstop, D.D. So stepping in, D.D. Gregorius. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And now a pitch on the way. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Rosario. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Uh, pretty good swing right there as he drives this ball deep. One hops over the wall, and he can just walk into second base with a ground rule double. Standing in now, Giancarlo Stanton, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. That is a pro pitch right there. Two old curveball for a strike. You make those kind of pitches, you'll be around for a long time. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Breaking balls in for a strike. Here now the 2-2. is swung on and missed strike three. The Yankees answer right back on the solo home run. We're through three in the Bronx. It's the Twins two and the Yankees one. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Miguel Sano. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. First pitch of the at bat. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Now it's 2 and 0. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Now the 2 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Love the pitch call there. 2 0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Now the 2 1. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Swing and a liner. And he is going to have extra bases to start the fourth. Sano will head for second. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscled the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Eduardo Escobar standing in. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. 
And a fastball's in there for strike one. Sano stands at second with no outs. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Here's Brian Dozier now. First pitch on its way. Missed with a slider. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2-0. and 3-0 and to him now. I don't know why in the world anybody would want to be an umpire. That manager has given this umpire an earful on a pitch that he thought was a strike, and he's certainly trying to defend his pitcher. A strike, and it's 3-1. and one. Two runs, four hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. Now this is foul tipped right into the catcher's glove as he holds on to preserve the strikeout, and there are two away. Not too often you see in a bat go from 3-0 and to a strikeout, so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3-0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Two runs, four hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Three and oh now. Jason Castro would be next. Here it comes, the 3 0. Is in there for strike one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. Two out here and a runner at second. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit if he was able to keep his hands back a little. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And that's going to plate the runner from second as this is now a 3-1 to one ball game. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a ribby knob. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two-out, two-strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. Jason Castro is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. One and two to the Twins catcher. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. The one-two. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. A run on two hits, and they leave one. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Twins three and the Yankees one.
Digging in for his second at bat. Gary Sanchez reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Owen won the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Uh, had him reaching a thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. After that off balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0 2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. 1 and 2 to the Yankees catcher. One two pitches a curveball that misses two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone, but I think he's caught onto their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes, and now the count is two and two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Rosario is there, and that's the first out of the inning. How about it? Here's Neil Walker. Neil Walker. Here comes the first pitch. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Counts even at one and one to Walker. The one one home is looked at for ball number two. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Buxton racing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Digging in to try it again. Greg Bird. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Now the pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. He takes a knee high fastball. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Score holds. It's three to one. Up next for Minnesota, number 46. He singled his last time up. Number 46. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. Line towards center field. Rowell is right there. One down. Center field number 25, Byron Buxton. Here's Byron Buxton now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the 0 1. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Two great pitches down in the zone. Interested to see where he goes now. 
Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. Got him. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Ready once again, Joe Maurer. He singled and drove home two his last time. First offering on its way. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Pulled toward right center field. Torres is there. And that's the third out. Twins are set down one, two, three. And it's still three to one. Digging in, Ronald Torres. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now here's the pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Buxton is over. He's got it one away. Now batter, number 25. Now to the plate, number 25. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out. Try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Rip down the line, but a foul ball, one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Ken Rowell. First pitch of the at bat. Breaking ball in for a strike. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A fastball that just misses inside. Still a little bit early to be worrying about this, but in a two-run game, a two-out walk right here could at least get the tying run to the plate. And on top of that, there's some pop on that on-deck circle. Into center field, line drive base hit. It's a two-out success means that Aaron Judge gets to swing it here. Yeah, maybe a shot here now with two as they finally get another base runner on. He stranded six in a row prior to this point, so he's had his way with these guys for the past couple of innings. Throw over to first. Runners back. Here's big Aaron Judge. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Now a throw over to first, and he's back standing. The 1-0. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Now the 2 0. Popped him up. Castro has a play, and the inning is over. 
One left for the Yankees. They still trail it here three to one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Eddie Rosario. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that pitch catches the inside corner. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's 2-1 now. All three. He's had command of his pitches all day. Hasn't walked a soul. But we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. walks yet here's the delivery get hard up the middle played on the backhand and they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw you know Dero as a pitcher that could be so frustrating you're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches and that was a really good pitch and I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter's smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. First offering on its way. Leaves a slider right over the middle. We're in the sixth inning here in a 3-1 to one ball game. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Another 0 2. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. The 1 2. Still a ball and two strikes. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. The batter. Ready for another chance? Eduardo Escobar. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat. On the ground is short. This could be two. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Nothing doing here for the Twins, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Here's Didi Gregorius. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. Awfully frustrating for a pitcher. You make a close pitch like that that just barely misses. Whew, that's a tough one to get back. Here comes the 1-0. Curveball that time, not even close. That was one of the easiest takes he'll have all year, and it puts him in a great hitter's count. He's got to take advantage of this situation. 
Now the 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. Turned on down the line. Foul. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is under this one. One gone. Up next for the Yankees. Left fielder. John Carlos. Jim Carlos Stanton now. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Drives it the other way to deep right. Kepler going back. Gone. He finds the short porch for a home run. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Home run number nine on the year. And the Yankees have cut it to a 3-2 to two score now. I can tell you one thing, you might get away with throwing the ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got, a really bad result. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate. But he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And on 0-2 he misses with a fastball. One out, nobody on. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Sanchez is retired. Two down now. Good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, also credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. In now, Neil Walker. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. 0. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hit out towards second. Dozier has it. Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. The Yankees claw back a bit thanks to the home run. The 6 7 8 hitters coming up to start the seventh. It's the Twins three and the Yankees two. Back here in the Bronx, Twins on top in this one as we take a look now at our game summary through the first six innings of play. Digging in once again, Brian Dozier. He went down on strikes last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while, but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he could steal some strikes that way. Wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground toward the left. Gregorius has it, and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, 
right fielder. Digging in and looking for more. Max Kepler. He's one for two in the ball game. First offering on its way. Down and in here. One ball, no strikes. Hit out towards second. Correa's gloves it. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh, as now there are two away. The batter, number 15, Jason Up next for Minnesota, Jason Castro. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Missed with a breaking ball. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Bullet back up the middle. Rowell will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Down go the twins in order. They're up three to two. Ready for another shot now. Greg Bird, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Drilled down the line. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through for this first base hit in this one. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. They need to be aggressive right here from the offensive standpoint. Leadoff base hit, bottom of the seventh, you're down one. This has to be the moment they scratch one across. Here's the Minnesota skipper making his way out to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Your Fernando your Rodney your takes the ball now here as he'll enter with a runner at first Number and nobody 52. out. Fernando Rodney. Ronald Torrey is the next to bat as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. One one home. There's a low changeup that's laid off. Bird on it first. Nobody out. Now a bunt attempt here. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Here now the two two. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Dozier into shallow center. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. The batter, number Riding in once again. Number 25. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Runners on first with one down. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old police sack and climb the ladder. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. That's a big strikeout there with the tying run number over at first base. 12. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot wow. more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Ken Rowell. And with two hits on the day, he's got to feel really good about contributing in his first day in the show. Yeah, he's had a great day at the plate, Matt. He's got a chance to get three knocks in this one. Whatever happens, it's gravy right now. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. The Yanks leave one. They trail three to two. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the New York Yankees, number 57. Ah, Ready once again, number 46. One for two on his line so far in the game. Number 46. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Takes a knee high fastball. This is hit softly to third. And this will be gobbled up fairly easily down there at third for the first down. Byron Buxton. Digging in to try it again. Byron Buxton. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the at-bat. Hey. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. Stanton is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. First baseman, Joe Mauer. The next twin up, Joe Maurer. First delivery to him on the way. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Stanton. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Twins are set down one, two, three, but they still lead it three to two. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Twins, number 39, Trevor Hildenbach. Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Fielder, Aaron Judge. First pitch coming. Here it is. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-0. Misses ball two. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. The 2 0 on the way. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate on fire.
hit sharply on the ground. And this is through into right field, so the time runs aboard to kick off the inning. Now batting, shortstop, Didi Gregorius. So a big moment here in standing in, Didi Gregorius. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Missed with a slider. Now the 1-0. Hit back up the middle. To second for one. On to first. And that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. As there are quickly two away now. Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later, and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. Giancarlo Stanton now. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Yeah, in his last that bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Buxton. And the inning is over. Down in order go the Yankees. They're down 3-2. to two. David Robertson enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So striding forward now, Eddie Rosario. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The 0 1 pitch. And that misses 1 and 1. A ball and two strikes now. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Here's Miguel Sano. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. He's hitless in three at-bats. First pitch on its way. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher to get ahead right there. You know you got a star hitter at the plate. He's not afraid to go to two strikes or go deep in the count. That's what you have to do. You have to put him at a disadvantage with the count. This is line to left. Stanton is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Eduardo Escobar standing in, batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the 0-1. Very weakly on the ground. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And that one just missed outside. The one two. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Rowell is after it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Down go the twins in order. 
and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Addison Reed comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Addison Reed. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Catcher, Gary Sanchez. First pitch of the at-bat. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And, folks, this ball game is tied. Solo shot here to left as it's now a three all ball game. Well, the skipper called on him for a reason, and I can guarantee you one thing that was not what he had in mind. First pitch, and it was out of here. That's a rough way to start your day at the office as a reliever. Here's Neil Walker. Fouled off. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. One, here's the pitch and a pitch in the dirt as he lays off it's one and one now the twins are going to get a lefty up and throwing in the bullpen liner toward right center and Walker will reach it's a base hit Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. Interesting here. This is where you play a little bit of manager. It's an AL game. Let's see if he employs a little National League style. Maybe ask the guy to bunt and move the runner up right here. I don't think so, though. American League, it's nasty. You're trying to drive something in a gap or over a wall. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. Throw is going to go on to first, so a perfect sacrifice there is now the go-ahead run moves into scoring position here. Up next for the Yankees. Ronald Torrey is the next to bat. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. be called here is with the important go-ahead run at second base they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there here's the first pitch comes right after him with a fastball for a strike The 0-1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Man, he certainly got him protecting the plate right there. He almost got him to go around on that slider right there. I would not be surprised if he goes fishing a little bit further outside. This one's down to third. Sano right there. Throw gets him. Two down. So coming to the plate, number 25, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. 
With runners in scoring position this season, number 25 brings a batting average in the low 220s to the table. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. A ball and a strike. The one and one pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. Now the one and two pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer, and we're right back where we started from. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth, and we are all tied at three apiece. Tommy Kingley takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Tommy Kingley. Here's Brian Dozier now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. He's set and the pitch. No balls in one strike. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Obviously, it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth, and now you're still fighting in extra innings. But the fact is, the game is tied, and a win is still very much a possibility, so they have to play that way. Judge has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat and it's grounded just foul down the line he's got a hit in three at bats to this point and he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center and he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Around first is Castro heading for second now. And your go ahead run is in there at second base as he's got himself a two out double. Now Number 46. Now it would be the Minnesota DH, number 46. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. Here's the first pitch. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. Lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. That takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. A 3 1 pitch. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Thank you. 
And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Here's Byron Buxton now. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make a man. Well, when your team really needs you, like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. Lifted in the air out to center field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Twin strand a pair. Score remains tied at 3-3. Three to three. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Leading Digging in, Ken Rowell. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 home. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry. Oh, and that nearly sent us home and sent this crowd into hysterics, but it'll wind up a foul ball. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. After that slider away, he must have set his sights out there because he took that fastball in like he had no chance. The one two. Don't try to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. On to first. And how important is it to keep this guy off base in a tie well, ball game? Field, one away. I'm no hitting coach, but I know they always preach if you're going to swing, swing. Second guessed himself on that one. Here's big Aaron Judge. He'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Missed with a slider. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. The three one. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at three and two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking deep. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Now that Here's Didi Gregorian. He was a double play victim last time around. Reed sets. First pitch on the way. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Buxton ranging back. Come on! Santa Maria, game over! So it's a solo shot to dead center, and none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Hey, when you get to extra innings, you're looking to piece together a rally or scratch any runs you can across the plate. But he says, hey, to heck with that. 
I'm going to do it with one swing of the bat. So a walk-off home run ends this thing in extras. That was fun. Not a lot of fireworks, but that narrows the candidate list for our top player of the game. And the man you see here was a key contributor, so he takes it home in this one. Yeah, he really made it happen with the bat in this one. You see here two hits, and one was a long ball, so he has to feel pretty good about what he did here. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. New York get the win on the heels of four home runs. Tommy Kingley gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees. Four runs on ten hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Twins, three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and five minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight in the Yankees Stadium is 53,325. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely.